What is going on, Internet? My name is Lou, and I make Linux videos. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at the Ubuntu Mate desktop. This is version 15.04. It's a daily build, so we're going to be taking a look at pre-release software. Uh, this particular release isn't due uh, to hit the repositories for download until April 23rd, when the official release is made, as well as all the spins. Um, so the Mate edition, I'll be honest, uh, is something I haven't used a whole lot. Um, and it was a desktop environment that has really surprised me in a good way. When a Mate first came about, I honestly felt like it was a certain segment of the community that was having a hard time letting go of GNOME 2, having a hard time embracing the new technologies of, of uh, GNOME 3. And I didn't think it was going to be something that was going to last very long. Um, but, you know, I'm glad it did. Uh, because I think this is a great desktop for a few different case scenarios, one of which being older hardware. I think that you know if you have a, a machine that's a few years old running, say, a gig of RAM or so, and you want something just very low resources but lets you get all the basics done while being able to have access to uh, the new kernel, like uh, new software, new libraries, that sort of thing. I think this is great. One could argue XFCE, but for me, although I do think XFCE and, and distros like Zubuntu are great, XFCE has always kind of felt like it was pieced together in a way. It didn't have a unified feeling for me. This particular distro has a polish to it that, again, is re reminiscent of GNOME 2, and it, it feels like it's finished and it's unified and it's polished. Uh, so I really like it. And, you know, the next uh, use case scenario for me would be, you know, those who don't like a keyboard-driven desktop interface, such as the GNOME Shell interface, Unity interface. Uh, maybe you don't want, uh, you know, to run KDE because of kind of the heavy resources that it uses. I think something like Ubuntu Mate would be great. Uh, so for me, if I was to install Linux on a friend or family member's machine that's new to Linux, Ubuntu Mate, I think, is going to be my distro of choice and go-to. Uh, specifically, people migrating over from Windows. Why? Especially if they're Windows 7 users. You know, they're used to an application menu with sub-menus to access things. Um, and, you know, when, when you think of a new Linux user, uh, the reason why I think new Linux users can get a little discouraged is because they have a hard time getting common tasks done. I... The, the way I quantify what, uh, the type of distro that I install on a new Linux user's machine, and I've done that now to a lot of friends, a lot of family members who are interested in trying something different. If I can't explain to you the basics in five minutes or less, uh, then it's going to be probably too complicated for you, and you're going to be calling me constantly trying to ask me how to get things done. I think I could install Ubuntu Mate on someone's computer, explain the basics to them in five minutes or less, and then they would be ready to go to browse the web, listen to music, watch videos, do all the basic things that most normal users, average everyday users would do with little to no assistance in the future. Uh, now, if of course, you're, if, if you're a techie, if you've used a lot of different operating systems, maybe mobile operating systems, uh, Windows, Mac OS X, you may be able to jump on uh, into something a little bit more advanced like Gnome Shell or even Cinnamon. But... You know, for all intents and purposes, Mate, I think, is a great option. So, of course, we have our applications menu here. We've got a backup option. We've got Plank installed, which is kind of interesting. Um, GIMP is not installed, which is kind of a shock. I thought you would have, they would have really included GIMP. But we got Firefox, Web Browser, HexChat, Pigeon, Thunderbird, Transmission, the whole LibreOffice suite, Sound and Video. We have Rhythmbox and VLC. System tools, we've got Mate Terminal. If we open up System Monitor, we're using right around 423 megs of RAM. Uh, if you have anything under a gig, I would say this is probably not the distro for you uh, because as soon as you open up Firefox and something like LibreOffice at the same time, you're going to be maxed out. I would say at least a gig or more uh, would, would really be beneficial. Uh, two gigs, I think, is probably the sweet spot for something like this. You could get away with one gig, I think, fairly easily. If you go to Places, of course, you've got all your basic options here. Under Systems, you got Preferences. You can uh, go right to your additional drivers, your monitor setup, 
uh, mouse, power management. Uh, specifically, that's going to come into play if you're on a laptop. Look and feel. You know, we've got... Um, let's go into the control center, actually. Again, this is very reminiscent of, of GNOME 2. I like it. Uh, so you've got appearance. You can even uh, control your pop-up notifications. Mate tweak. In mate tweak, it's very, very basic. You can control what icons are displayed on your desktop. Under interface, you can change the different interface themes. So for example, you can come down here to the mate theme with the mate menu. Uh, I like the mate menu. It reminds me of the Linux Mint menu. Uh, from my favorite Linux distribution, I think, of all time, which would be Linux Mint 10, Julia. Um, this reminds me very much of that. You can come under search and start typing what, what you want and have it uh, display the results. And then again, again, under Windows, you've got your button layout, compositing. Uh, for interface, again, if I was going to install this on a brand new Linux user's machine, I would stick to the Ubuntu Mate layout, mainly because, again, it's just it's easier having a menu with a submenu driven um, interface for people who are just starting out, in my opinion. The panel at the bottom, you can delete. I never was a, a bottom panel kind of user. Uh, I always deleted that, but um, you can delete it or even add it uh, at another panel, just like you would in GNOME 2. You've got your calendar, your network interface, your volume. Uh, you have, actually, under look and feel, you also have, nope, not look and feel. What is it? Oh, a firewall configuration out of the box. You've got a firewall installed. And there is an option in here to change your uh, lock screen theme. Can't find it right now at the moment. But I think Ubuntu Mate's great. I think it's definitely something that's necessary uh, for uh, users to have options, whether it being not, you know, totally being sold on the keyboard driven or heavily. Uh, influenced by keyboard command desktop environments like GNOME Shell or Unity, uh, or um, to be able to bring breathe some life into older hardware. You know, right now I've got you know uh, some family that's running Crunchbang, uh, so you've got OpenBox on top of Debian. I installed that a year and a half ago, and when I tell you, uh, I have to help uh, these individuals um, in order to display you know a bookmark bar in Firefox. Um, that's how basic uh, these these users are. Uh, they are not techie at all, and they're running OpenBox on top of Debian uh, to do all their normal basic functions like browse the web, check email, so on and so forth. Uh, and they're running it on a laptop that only has 512 megs of RAM. And so, you know, they don't have money to to go out and buy another uh, computer. So, uh, you know, we had a five, you know an old laptop threw Crunchbang on there and you know they've had a home PC now for the last year and a half when otherwise they wouldn't have been able to have that so you know that's one of the things that Linux you know is able to do for people um, you know this this again is a family that just didn't have the money to buy a PC and now they get to enjoy you know doing the everyday tasks the rest of the world that has a computer does uh, in hardware that otherwise would have been really good for nothing other than a paperweight so uh, I think Ubuntu Mate's a great newbie distro, and I also think it could be a great distro for someone who just wants something very basic and simple. So you've got all of the advantages of now in version 1504 being based on uh, the new libraries, new packages, new up-to-date kernel support. So it'll support a lot of you know modern uh, different types of um, Peripheral devices out of the box, the Linux kernel, especially the one used in Ubuntu, comes with a lot of features enabled by default. Uh, so I think this is something that's fantastic. I've really enjoyed, you know, taking a trip down memory lane here with Ubuntu Mate. So this is what to expect um, out of Ubuntu Mate 15.04. If you like the video or have had experience with Mate, leave a comment in the comment section below. 
Uh, tell me a little bit about your experience with Mate. What do you think about it? Do you think it's a great option to have? Do you think it's something that's outdated? You know, what are your thoughts on the Mate desktop? Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If so, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later.